All right, so this is another test of the uh, caps I made using uh, Sharpshooter's cap making device. Punches number 11 caps out of soda cans. As you can see, they're, they're a little bit on the crude side. They're not as cleanly shaped or fitted as store-bought caps, but they do go on. Um, these, as far as the priming, I'm going to refer to these as type A caps. One's made from, uh, you know, cap gun roll caps. Um, rather than just put one cap in, I've been doing uh, two of them with a tiny bit of powder between them to make sure we get enough energetic enough reaction to actually set off the chamber. Um, I've tested a few of them singly, so I'm reasonably confident that any given cap will go off, and I'm reasonably confident that any given cap will fire its chamber. What I'm a little concerned with is will these caps stay on through multiple firings of other cylinders, or will they wiggle and pop loose before I get to them? Because as I say, their, their fit is just not as good as the store-bought caps. But we're about to find out. We're gonna try six rounds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Well, I stand corrected. All six caps stayed in place through the whole, the whole cycle. They didn't fall off when the cap in front of them was fired. Every single cap popped, every single cap fired its cylinder. So I will call that a success and a positive review of Sharpshooter's cap making device. Thanks for watching.